There are eight more girls than boys in a particular class. Three-fifths of the boys and one-third of the girls were born in Georgia. If the number of boys who were born in Georgia is equal to the number of girls who were born in Georgia, how many students, boys and girls together in that class, were born in Georgia? This is a typical Singapore-style problem. Um, this was taken from a Singapore book. The context was changed slightly. Uh, for I guess for copyright reasons we are going to look at two different solutions we're going to look at the algebraic way of doing it the way it's generally done and we're going to look at the visual the modeling way the way it's generally done in Singapore texts so let's move forward and look at the algebraic method we're going to call it the US method okay so we're going to start with our assumption that there be boys in the class and the question says there are eight more girls, so there must be b plus eight girls. The question also says three fifths of the boys, which is this, is same as one third of the girls. So this gives us our equation. Three fifths times b is equal to one third times b plus eight. All we need to do, let me erase the highlights, all we need to do is solve this equation. Let's do it on the next page. So this equation is really from the previous page. 3 over 5 times b is equal to 1 third times b plus 8. I can write it this way. 3b over 5. b plus 8 times 1 is b plus 8 over 3. Cross multiplication. 3 times 3b is equal to 5 times b plus 8. Left hand side is 9b. Right hand side is 5b plus 40. Moving the variables on the same side. 9b minus 5b is 4b. 40 is equal to 40. B is 40 over 4 or 10. So I found the value of B. So the question wants me to find the total number of boys and girls. So B is 10. So there are 10 boys in the class and there are 8 more girls so there should be 18 girls in the class. Now the question really wants me to find out how many boys and how many girls were born in Georgia. So I need to find 3 fifths of the boys which is 6, then 1 eighth of the girls, which is also 6, which makes sense because they were the same number. So my final answer is 12. I added 6 to 6 and got 12. 6 boys and 6 girls were born in Georgia, so 12 students were born in Georgia. Let's erase all this and take a look at the visual solution. We'll call it the Singapore method. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I do know that three-fifths of the boys were born in Georgia. So I shade three-fifths, that's the Georgia boys. Okay, gee, my G looks really funny. Okay, now, I do know one thing from the, let's erase my G, blue stands for G, let's write it here. Blue stands for G. And I'm going to say GA because that stands for Georgia. Okay, let's erase this. Okay, now, according to the question, the same number of girls were born in Georgia also. So if you use three blue squares to represent the boys born in Georgia, you have to represent three blue squares to you have to use three blue squares to represent the girls born in Georgia. Let's go over it once again. This is a crucial step. <clears throat> if you if you have three fifths of the boys were born in Georgia, born in Georgia, five is the entire class of boys. Three of them were born in Georgia, and the question says the same number of girls were born in Georgia. So if you have three squares representing boys born in Georgia, you better have three squares representing girls born in Georgia. Now, according to the question, one third of the girls were born in Georgia. This is another important step. This is one third of all the girls in class. If one third of something is three, that something has to be nine. So, I'll take a look at it. If I choose nine squares, it works out fine. One third of nine is three. Now, according to the question, let's erase the blue highlights. According to the question, 
there were eight more girls so this has to be eight there were eight more girls so this has to be eight. the additional four squares should be eight and that tells me that each square is worth two doesn't matter if it's a blue or a boy or a girl or a red square each square is two the question wants us to find out how many boys and girls were born in Georgia well each square is worth two and these are the kids who were born in Georgia so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 12 or 2 times 6 is 12 that's my answer that's the Singapore way of doing it